All right, guys, we back again with our good buddy Ben Shapiro. Shout out to the Daily Wire. Uh, and this video is titled Facts Don't Care About Your Feelings. Speech is not violence. Now, before I start the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. Do you feel that a lot of your speech could incite the same kind of violence? I mean, you heard my speech Kennedy. tonight. Do you feel that my speech could incite violence? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I mean that seriously. That's, that's an honest no, I question. Know, I know. I know you're asking honestly. I See, the only problem I have with this whole incite and violence thing is that I don't want to make I don't want to make no assumptions about her and the way she votes and everything. She might not vote. Obviously, she ain't voting for she ain't voting for no Republicans, no conservatives. But my problem is they bring up the the whole um, um, speech is violence thing to conservatives. But why don't they ever say that? Why don't they ever admit that that the left does the exact same thing? And I would I would honestly argue that what they do is a lot worse in terms of the speech being in terms of speech that comes out of their mouth that can excite that can incite violence incite hate incite division i think the left is 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 um beating us in that regard so yeah i feel that it for me as an individual it isn't but i could see how a lot of your points i really disagreed with i literally have a list of and that's and that's I fine i mean that's you. the good part right where um, we disagree and we can have a conversation i just was wondering in terms of you, and what i mean by inciting violence is encouraging the same people who believe in like your transphobic beliefs um, even that like homophobia is a sin based on your religious beliefs do you believe that because of um, what you say you can encourage a lot of people to i mean just because just because you have strong religious beliefs doesn't mean you out in the streets beating up, you know, LGBTQ members like that. That doesn't mean that that's what you're doing. Like, you know, you can't. And in and, 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 and in a sense, you can't you can't help what you can't help how your words are perceived through others. You can't you, you put out information. You could put out a positive message and someone could take that and go do something terrible. People have done terrible things with the Bible's message. You can't help what people do when they hear your words. That's just something that's out of your control. If this, if Ben Shapiro is just speaking what he really believes, then you know the way people perceive it and what they choose to do, that's completely up to them. It's not his, it's not his responsibility to go and track down every person that listens to what he says and make sure that they don't harm anyone. You know, it's it's just no no man can do that. Act on those so I have a very strong standard with regard to incitement, and I'm very consistent about this. If I'm not telling somebody to commit violence, I'm not inciting them to violence. I've held the standard for Barack Obama when he was saying anti-police things, and then somebody went and shot up some police officers in Dallas. I said that's not Barack Obama's fault. When a Bernie Sanders supporter went and shot up a congressional. Right, right, and look at you know look at um I don't know if it's calmed down a, a, a bit, but I remember there was a huge um, increase in crime against police officers. Now, who's always talking bad about police officers? The left. And when they start talking crazy, the more they start talking crazy, the more police, li police officers' lives are in danger. That just goes to show you that their language incites violence. So my only, my only problem with her, whole, with her whole question statement is just keep that same energy with your own side as well. Neither side should be inciting violence. A baseball game. I said that's not Bernie Sanders' fault because Bernie Sanders wasn't calling for that. Political debate requires that you talk to people and people take your words as what they mean, not as an excuse to go and do violence. I've never called for violence, nor would I. As far as the idea that my words are some sort of attack, a violent attack, for example, on folks who are transgender, my I'm view. Not saying I, I know, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm responding to the people who are not you who might say that. Okay. okay. So, the, so the the idea that I am transphobic, for example. This is, this is a bizarre kind of attack in the sense that I don't know that I've ever exhibited phobia of trans people. I'm not afraid of trans people. Well, well transphobia is more along the but, lines of disagree, well, prejudice against. Mm -hmm, disagreeing. That's what you meant to say. And look, you know, this is saying I love. If, if you could have done better, you would have done better. You know, this girl is young. You know, the school systems social media it's all it's all brainwashing it's all you know liberal brainwashing maybe not 100 percent of it but the majority of it is so you know 
I'm gonna pray for her. and all these and you know all these people they just they just gotta find you know they gotta find their way through life they might you know come end up coming around they might change their opinion but you know don't go too hard on her so I think that I think that you, I, I actually I actually think that your first characterization was right I think the transphobia is really disagreement with the basic principle that the trans community is trying to purvey which is that exactly and yeah she did say disagree and that that's like that's that's changing definitions a phobia isn't a disagreement phobia means you're scared you're scared of something you know arachnophobia you're scared of spiders i remember i watched a show like what was it show back in the day one of those shows like showing people's crazy phobia some lady was scared of pennies i'm talking about this lady saw a penny on the ground she would freak out that is a phobia disagreeing with the way trans people live their lives is not a phobia it's just a disagreement that's all it is and we are all entitled to disagree aren't we that the trans community is trying to purvey which is that people's sex is malleable that people can move from male to female and that it is my job objectively to now call them the name they wish to be called and to teach my children that men can be women and women can be men i fundamentally disagree with that point now with that said is everybody in the united Imagine how confusing that must be for a child telling him that telling him that he can be what he isn't. Insane. United States entitled to the same rights? Of course, but your right does not extend to forcing me to call you what you want me to call you. That's not the way this works. That violates my freedom of speech. So, in interpersonal relationships, if I were out to dinner with a trans person, would I make a point of noting their proper biological sex? No, because that would be impolite. When I'm talking about the general principle of is a man a woman or is a woman a man, the answer is I will say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman and a he is a he and a she is a she. And if I'm in a public debate with somebody, I will say the same thing. Yep. That was handled excellently. And like I said, you know, we all on our journey. Don't go too hard on a girl. You know, it is what it is. But... I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit from Ben Shapiro. I'm going to be reacting to more Young America Foundation because they got they got so much good stuff. But, um, yeah, get in the comments. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.